Morena uh, Tatau. I'd like you to, uh, we're going to start off with a, a karakia, and I'd like you to repeat after me. Kia kotahi mai, ki te ao nei, be as one with the universe. Kia kotahi mai, ki te whenua nei, be as one with Mother Earth. Kia kotahi mai, ki ngā wai e re re nei. Flow as one with the sacred waters. Kia kotahi mai, ki te hau ora. Breathe as one with the winds. Kia kotahi mai, Kotatau katoa. Let us be one together. Patukitahi nga manawa e. Times four. That just means you have to say that four times. Patukitahi nga manawa e. Let our hearts beat as one with that of Mother Earth, and only then will we have true balance in our lives. That's our karakia for this morning. I'd like to um, take a liberty here, Pa, here, just for a couple of minutes. Um, often, to reach the heart of Māori values, we must experience them. And often things written on paper do little to help us reach the heart. I'm going to read um, uh, a passage, um, which is an insight into an indigenous people's concept of their perspective of holistic health. Um, and this gallery, it's called a gallery. There's about 10 of them. It goes like this. Welcome to the gallery of Taha Tikanga. And in this instance, in this reading, tikanga is compliance. Tika is the root word of tikanga. It means tika is to do the right thing. And so I'm going to read a, a little bit of a passage here. And I want you to just close your eyes, please, and go to that beautiful place by the seaside or in the bush or wherever you want to be with your family. Welcome to the gallery of taha tikanga or the dimension of compliance. Tahatikanga is the yardstick for protocol, the measure for etiquette, the demarcation for the sacred from the profane, and the difference from the extraordinary to the mundane. It is the difference of man from woman, day from night, summer from winter, immoral, from moral. It allows each person their rank, time, location, and life direction during their life duration to be fruitful or fruitless and safe or hazardous. It is like astral flying at multiple levels, each boundary mentally framed, each intersection demanding rituals each area littered with pitfalls, all requiring a finely tuned mind, body, and responses. Danger, retribution, and safety are one's constant traveling companions. Once learnt, one's life paths become clearly defined and direct. It is scaling a mountain in your mind, running a race with the wind, swimming to outstrip an eel, or singing to outtrill a bird. It is achieving the gauntlet race through experience and concentration. Tahatikanga allows you to eavesdrop on the ancestral chants and tunes to see the purpose of ancient practices that are relevant even today. 
It encourages mutual respect between people, warms the heart with hospitality, lightens the loads of life losses, and softens the harsher realities of mortality. It allows you to see God breathe in the silent, drifting morning mist, or see his eyes twinkle on the curling edge of an afternoon wave, or hear his gentle belly <laughs> laughter rumble in a distant disappearing rainstorm, or see his brief smile on the light spears of the rising sun. It is his, it is his immortality that is mortalized by man, and it is through Tahatikanga that this is almost made possible. Kia ora tata.